maybe you think you're fast enough to keep up with us, huh? I love High Plains Drifter. High Plains Drifter is a 1973 film starring and directed by Clint Eastwood. It centers around a nameless stranger played by Clint Eastwood who arrives in the small town of Lago, California and after some terrible deeds ends up in a position to defend the town from a group of criminals recently released from jail who had previously sworn vengeance on the town. I first watched High Plains Drifter when I was in middle school. I was dabbling in the western genre and slowly making my way through Clint Eastwood's entire filmography. This one ended up being my favorite, partially for the script, partially for the atmosphere, but mostly because of just how cruel Eastwood is in this film. He is not a hero at all. Maybe he was a good man once upon a time, but he does some pretty messed up things in order to toughen up the townsfolk and force them into a position where they'll be able to defend themselves after he's gone. There's this mystery surrounding his character. He never gives his name, he often dreams about the federal marshal that was whipped to death by the incoming outlaws, and the twist ties all this up and makes Eastwood out to be a maleficent spirit of vengeance. Even though this was Eastwood's second directorial outing, it feels like his first. This film feels a lot more like Unforgiven or Pale Rider, not just because it's a western and mystery for me isn't, but also because it helped pave the way for western heroes that were more than just the grizzled loners he used to play. His character here is completely reprehensible at times. And while I'm not sure how to feel about the details of his debauchery, I have to admit it's effective. And the townsfolk help elevate this even further, cementing it as my favorite western. I especially love the midget that gets appointed sheriff just because he's the only one who has the balls to strike up a conversation with Eastwood's drifter character. This movie really is just a microcosm of what I like about westerns. The small, intimate town with wide enough vistas to create the sense of nature, the gunplay, the general poor attitude of all the characters, the music by Dee Barton, and the twist ending that recontextualizes the entire film and makes it transcend beyond the western genre. And that's why I love High Plains Drifter.